Okay, so this is pre-party. We are getting a coffee. Pixie's driving. We're sitting in the um, driver. What is it called? Drive through. Drive through. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here's all of our junk we have for the party, and um, yeah. So we're getting ready to set up, getting some coffee, heading that way. Okay, first you want to put tablecloths down wherever you're going to be teaching, and then start setting up easels, aprons, paper towels, anything else you need for your paint party. As you can see here, we have the canvases already traced, and we get them sublimated, and those are being put out as well as paper towels, brushes, and now paints. This part, you wanna go ahead and just get the colors that they need. You can always give them more colors later, but I like to get the main colors ready right now. As you have time, you're set up early, always do some social media, do some videoing of your paint parties. This helps your paint parties have great social media presence. Now, as people start to come in, you wanna get them seated, have them place their stuff at their chair if they're gonna go grab drinks or food. This is a really cool distillery we're teaching at. So you can see Pixie, my daughter, is helping people get signed in. And then as I come in, I wanna come in and make sure I am meeting everybody. So you can see here, I shake hands, I say hi, I introduce myself, and I get them settled in. You want to make people feel welcome when they show up to your paint party. You want to be you know, saying hi, get to know people as you get them all settled. In this particular spot, it's pretty loud. So usually whenever I'm filming, we can you know, pause and you can hear and I'm able to talk to the entire room. But since this venue is a little bit louder, I go purposely to each table, and here you can hear the sound of the venue. All right, easy first step, okay? You're gonna use the one inch flat, which is that one, this front, or I'm sorry, this paint with this paint, and you're gonna cover the entire thing around it, including the edges, just don't be on Yep, you put right on top of that, and that's it. This one's unique because we have an actual wedding reception happening after this. So what I decided to do was give instructions at each table and I tell them I'm going to circle them like sharks the whole time. When you can get everyone's attention, sometimes I'll do this at the very beginning. I'll say, raise your right hand and repeat after me. I promise not to judge my art or my neighbor's art until the very, very end. And that usually has a few laughs and gets everybody kind of loosened up and not so judgmental of their art. The entire party, you are circling them like sharks. You're walking around, you're helping. Um, if you can afford to have help or you have a daughter, granddaughter, grandson, whoever, you can see my daughter's here and my husband's here helping as well but just have people around walking. What do they need to you know, anticipate if they need more white paint? If you know they're about to run out of something, have it ready. You wanna make a good party great. You want them to refer you. You want them to think of you every time you come back to that venue so that your parties sell out every time. There will be times as the paint party host that you will notice people need help so sometimes I'll walk up to them and just say, hey, do you need some help? Or if it looks like they're trying to figure it out on their own, I'll just kind of kindly announce to the whole group, if you need help finding your pumpkin again, let me know, I'm here to help. And here's one instance. Remember, your job as the paint party host is not to be standing in one place and showing off your painting skills. Your job as the paint party host is really to walk around, get to know people. This is a social fun gathering. Say hi to the baby to the right. <laughs> Talk to everyone as well as be ready to help. So the biggest thing I can tell you when you are nervous about teaching a paint party, remember they are staring at a campus and they are nervous. So you want to 
direct your attention always to serving, to helping, to doing what you can to make them successful. Okay, so once you have your colors on there, ooh, ah, good job, Mark. <laughs> Every location that you teach at will be different. This one, as you can tell, is a little loud. So sometimes people will bring microphones, but I chose not to because of the other parties happening at the same time. So sometimes it does take a little bit more work because you're walking around, you're saying the same thing over and over again. However, when you do this and you do it enough, you're going to get so much practice that it will be easier, I promise. And whenever you see everyone's finished products, it just makes it all worth it. When they're proud of it, they ask when the next one is, they're ready to come back. I promise you it makes it worth it. As well as one paint party is quite a bit of money. So this paint party was $35 a person times 20 people. So that's $700. And this party took about an hour and 15 minutes. So I don't know about you, but that is a great day making money as an artist. Now, time for pictures. I love this part. I always recommend bringing a ring light because your photos for social media are going to turn out so much better when you bring a ring light and you get individual shots and you can also get group shots. Another great practice to do as you're doing your paint parties is as you're taking the picture with your phone, also take it with their phone, but this is a great time to say, thank you so much for coming. Did you have a great time? I love how it turned out. So all of those nice thank yous and looking people in the eye, saying thank you and telling them you appreciate it is so, so important. I hope this video was helpful in you teaching your very own paint party. And if it was, I would love to challenge you to teach your own paint party. Check it out at paintpartychallenge.com. It's totally free, so check it out today.